and then I can eventually get them off. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this one off. Oh, yep, you're going to hear a lot of snaps. Okay, there we go. So that one's off. And then we got this one over here. Yeah, usually one's a lot harder to get off than the other, and this one's going to be... Oh, nope, okay, there it goes, right off. Not bad. All right, let's put the screen all the way back, and there are two more screws that got to be undone. And those screws are... There's one right there, and it's holding a ground wire in place for, I believe, the inverter for the L for the um, fluorescent light for the screen. And there's another one right there, which is also holding down a ground wire. So we can take out those two screws. And be careful in this area because this is where your data cables are for the screen and whatnot. I ended up replacing the screen with um, a 1200p, 1920x1200p WXGA Plus screen. It originally came with a 1440x900 screen and that just wasn't cutting it. So once you get those two screws out, there are two data cables. There's one here and there's one here. This one is the data cable on this side for which carries the data to go to your screen and this one is for all the accessories like the webcam and the lights and all the fancy stuff so when you're taking this one out be especially careful and additionally this one's usually a little bit harder to get out so you just pull up ever so gently and it comes right out and the same thing on this side there we go um, now you should be able to lift up on your screen Make sure gently and pull it back off the laptop. And you'll see over here you've got your Wi Fi antenna wires. Let's just take those out and you can set the screen aside. So now you're left with the bottom part of the laptop. And I believe if I did everything right, you can gently. Try open the rest of the laptop. Oh, if you have a PCIe slot card, I want to take it out. Oh, yes, I forgot. There's one more screw. There's so many of them to keep track of. And this one's hidden. See this right here? Underneath your hard drive, there's a little screw hiding itself right there. Take that one out. And I believe, I believe that's it for hidden screws. So now we can take off the back panel of the laptop without too much trouble. I think. There's another hidden screw, and it's right next to the one that we just took out. It's right there. This isn't nearly as bad as the hidden screws on the Gateway FX, I must say. They were hiding screws under tape, which was under components, which was, you know, it was, it was terrible. All right, so now, now, finally, we can take off the back panel. Yes, there it goes. It comes right off. And there you go. So, now we got the back of the motherboard totally exposed. Um, next thing you'll want to do is... You'll see... Right here's the battery compartment and this little black flappy thing. You can either take it off or just pull it up. This is blocking the pins for the battery. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the motherboard out. And then additionally, this little piece of tape here, take that, pull it back. And these two connectors here, you're going to have to undo. Now, repeat, this is the only way you can get to the video card to take it out. This is really stupid. The 15-inch version, you just take off the back panel and boom, pop out the video card. 
This thing, you got to disassemble the entire laptop, and it uses the same exact video card. All right, now we can take out the motherboard, and you do that by gently flexing the right side of your laptop and pushing to the left on the motherboard. It's okay to bend it a little bit. It shouldn't cause any problems. And you can, for the most part, just lift it out. And there you go. There's the empty case of the G71GX. And set that aside. Now, we got the motherboard of the laptop. And what's on the back is all the goodies. We got Wi-Fi card here. There's two screws. You can take that out. I'm not going to take it out. And what we're really interested in, the video card, the GTX 260M. Now, it shares a heat sink with the Northbridge. But if you undid all four of these screws, as we did earlier, you can pretty much just lift up gently on the graphics card and gently slide it out of its MXM slot, which is right there. And that, my friends, careful not to drop it, is the mighty GTX 260M. Now, the PC board is a lot smaller in the 17-inch version of the laptop than it is in the 15-inch version. Um, I don't know, that just doesn't make sense to me. The uh, graphics card in the 15 inch version which is the exact same card is about twice as big this one's really really small compared to a desktop card it's probably or probably um, maybe a fourth the size of a GTX 260M in terms of length and width um, so that's that we can set this aside and now for the final part there's two more screws which you take off. They're long screws. And this here is covering the north bridge and the memory controller. So you take those two off and you can lift off the heat sink. Oh! Okay. There's one more screw right there holding the heat sink in place. Let's take that off. It's a small screw, really small. You have your heat sink and you can clean off thermal paste and put good the good stuff like Arctic Silver 5 or the new stuff they just came out with on that. Um, Alright, so quick overlay of the motherboard, you got your CPU socket, got your north bridge, you got your three lamp RAM slots, you got your MXM 2.0, no 2.1B slot, it's not HE, so that severely limits your upgrade possibilities. I don't know what MXM type the new 5870 mobility cards are. If they are 2.1B, or if there is a version that's 2.1B, I might consider upgrading to that. If not, I'll just have to hope and see what the new GTX 400 series mobile cards are. Um, you got a mini PCIe slot here, you got an IDE slot here for your CD drive, you got a SATA slot here, sat here for both your hard drives. You get another mini PCIe slot for your wireless card. I didn't take that out. I could. I don't know what the heck. This one is ABG and N wireless.